In this video, I would like to show how to deal with parts positioning inside Hyperworks. More precisely, let's try to take advantage of the new workflow with parts, subsystems, and connectors. For instance, let's work on this assembly made of several parts, and let's try to create two configurations. One with a closed door, like that, and another one with an opened door. The first thing to do is to create subsystem. Let's open the subsystem browser. And actually, there is no subsystem. To build a subsystem, we could either just drag and drop some parts into the subsystem, and automatically the first subsystem is created. Let's call it door closed, for instance. Same UID. And let's have a look on the include browser. And as you could see, automatically the subsystem, the creation of the subsystem or is linked to the creation of one include file. Let's call it with the same name, door closed. And actually there is already a include that is made of the body in white. So let's use this include and drag and drop it into the subsystem browser in order to automatically create the second subsystem, which is called body. Okay, so now we have two subsystems, the, do the closed door and the body in white. But for the moment, those two subsystems are not linked together. If I zoom in a little bit at this location, we could see that there is no connection on these holes. So let's create first the connection between those two subsystems. Let me first select the interested component to link. Those one, isolate them. And now let's go to the connectors menu and let's create some attachment and connect them. So let's create the first attachment on some holes. You could either create those attachments manually or automatically. For instance, if I select the green part, automatically two attachments, two holes are found and two attachments created. But I can do that also manually just by selecting one node on a hole and automatic automatically detect the hole. Let's do the same on the other components. Let's do it manually, quickly, like that. And OK. So now I've got four attachments there and four others on top. Let's connect them with the connect tool. Let's select every attachment, like that, and ask to create a bolt connecting all of those attachments using by default a C-bar element. Now that the parts are correctly linked together, we can move on the creation of the new configuration, the open door. One way to do that is just to create instances of all the parts of the current door subsystem. Let's isolate this subsystem. Let's select all the parts of this subsystem. And let's ask to create an instances of all those parts. Once all the parts are duplicated, Hyperworks will ask you to position those parts by translating them, rotating them, or whatever you want. So let's, for instance, ask to rotate our instances along around that axis defined by those two nodes with the base node this one and let's ask to rotate the newly opened door by 30 degrees apply and that's it as you can see, we now have 
two subsystems. Actually, we have one subsystem, the closed door, and the duplicated part, the open door. Let's hide the initial parts and let's select the newly created parts representing the open door and let's use them just by dragging and dropping them into the subsystem browser into a new subsystem. Of course, let's call it door opened. And let's have a look on our subsystem configuration. We have the body subsystem that contains the body in white. We have the door closed subsystem containing the door in a closed position. And we also have now the door opened subsystem that contains all the parts into in the opened configuration. If you want to export the body plus the door close or the door open, what you can do is eventually create some configuration like that. Create configuration. Let me explain a little bit the browser and just drag and drop the interested subsystem. Let's create another one and let's go, let's drag and drop it the other one. And as you could see, for every configuration, you have the status active or inactive in order to automatically switch from one config to another and automatically re-realize the connectors.